Hi, I have a little tutorial prepared for you today which is to show you how to place images within InDesign in a grid in a really quick and efficient way and also a little bit on how to use the gap tool. I'm just going to drag and drop some screenshots onto my page. You could also go up to File Place. So you can see here I have loaded on my cursor. This is before I've clicked anything. I have nine images. I can see that because there's a nine within brackets and just using my side arrow keys I can flip through the images. This would also be useful if you wanted to place a certain one first. So you can choose which one you want to place, um, place it and then choose the next one that you want next and place that. But what I'm going to work on today is actually placing all nine of these at one go in a beautiful even grid. And the way I do that is I'm going to come up to the corner of my page and click and drag. And you'll see here that my marquee is actually, my frame's actually constrained to the first image that I'm placing. And I'm just holding down my left cursor on my mouse. And you'll see here now what I'm going to do is press my side arrows. So I've clicked once, twice, and it's giving me columns. And if I click my top arrow, my up arrow, it gives me three more. And so I have nine frames now. You can see those sort of dotted gray lines. Those are frames that um, my images will be placed into. So I'm still holding down my left cursor. I'm pulling and dragging this frame out until it fills my page. And when I let go, you'll see that each of those will be filled with my images. So that's just a really quick and handy way of placing images in a grid evenly. Now even within this you can see, um, so here there's a little bit of white space, here there's a little bit of white space and depending on what images you've placed you may have different amounts of that. So I'm going to highlight all of them just by um, dragging my cursor over them and come up here to my fill frame proportionally which I'll now click. I also like to click auto fit and I'll show you why. I'm going to come over to my gap tool now and gap tools really work on all of the negative space so you can see here while it's over an image it um, won't work but while it's in this gap here it comes up with um, a little tool indicating that I can play with this space. So if I click and drag you'll see that it will resize because I have auto fit selected it will resize my images um, as I go and it moves my gap evenly. I can also use it on this gap here. If I want to move just one gap at a time I can hold down shift and it will work on just one, one gap. If I hold down command it will actually work on the size of the gap so I can remove my gap or I can make my gap bigger. So have a bit of a play around with that tool and see what different effects you can get. It can be really fun just to make a bit more of a dynamic um, grid layout. What I'd like to show you next, I'm just going to highlight all of these and delete them from my page. We're going back to the step where we're placing some images into a grid. So this time I'll come up to File, Place, grab my screenshots, all nine of them, click Open and you can see here I have them loaded on my cursor again. This time when I place them all I'm actually going to show you I can change the gaps, the size of the gaps, before I even let go of my cursor. So I'm still holding down my left cursor on my mouse. I'm going to click my side arrow twice and my up arrow twice to give me nine frames because I have nine images. While I still have my cursor clicked down I'm going to hold down command and use my side arrows and my down arrow. So this time my left arrow, if I click this you'll see those frames actually going closed. So that's actually removing the gap. You can see if I press my down arrow the same happens. I can do that the opposite way as well so I'm still holding down my mouse key, I'm holding down command, I'm using my up arrow now and it's making my gap bigger. I'm using my arrow key that is pointing to the right and that's making that gap bigger. But for the purpose of this I'm actually going to close that gap. So back we go, command and tapping my arrow keys again this way and I'm still holding down my mouse key. It's lots of keys happening at the same time. All right now I've removed those gaps I'm going to let go of my mouse button and here you can see I now have my grid with no gaps uh, and all of my images beautifully placed inside. I'm going to come up here to my fill frame proportionally just to make sure they're all filling their frames 
yeah there you go so I have my nine grid there I can still use my gap tool as well if I want to move things around I can also image inside and I can resize it that way as well keeping the frame the same but just moving the size of the image so we've had a look at how we can do that with images uh, you can also do it with text boxes as well so I'm going to create myself another page here just by um, clicking on my new page um, symbol in pages and with my type tool I'm going to again draw out a frame here and using my side arrow keys while I'm still holding down my mouse I'm going to click to the side and it's giving me three columns now I'll just show you here if I come up to this first column fill with placeholder text you'll see here that it has filled these three columns with placeholder text and they're already linked they're evenly spaced they have beautiful gaps in between just a really simple quick way of setting up your text boxes you can still use holding down command to change the gaps within these columns as well so I'm clicking and dragging I'm going to give myself three columns now I'll hold down command and I'm going to make these gaps between the columns wider there we go and again I'll let go I'm going to fill with placeholder text and excellent so that's another really quick way of using this technique thanks so much for watching and enjoy using InDesign